Hi everybody, I'm Sofian. Welcome back to Cybering Suite for the Computex 2012. Right now we're going to talk more deeply about Windows 8. We all know Windows, the desktop with icons and a small start menu at the bottom. This year, Microsoft will release a new operating system working for desktops, laptops and tablets with a touch-friendly interface. Yep, we're going to show, show our viewers the uh, the more in-depth view of uh, our Metro apps from, from Cyberlink. So first, uh, let me go back to, to the, the main UI. So previously, we quickly introduced the three apps from Cyberlink, and now we are going to each one of them very quickly. So first, I'll show you the uh, sorry the Power DVD um, Metro. So this is the entire Power DVD UI and representation. Uh, it, it's very uh, Metro style, uh, so and uh, it's touch based. You can see that uh, it's very responsive. So basically, previously I introduced that this is a media player for your videos, photo, and music. Uh, so let's see what this player can do. So first of all, uh, in the video uh, part of the uh, the player, uh, you can you get to see all the content uh, on your device uh, at a very rich uh, UI and re uh, representation. So for example, I can start playing back any of the movies with a single touch of uh, my, my finger. I can see the quality is very good, very smooth. Uh, and I always can go back to another video if I want to. So we wanted to, you know, provide the uh, the rich UI and also the responsive experience to the users uh, for for the video playback. Oh, one more thing I need to I, I wanted to emphasize is that uh, in our Metro Player Media Player Power DVD, we uh, we has actually included extra code and format support. So, for example, for users who has legacy contents like uh, MPEG2 or uh, uh, MKV, download the content from the internet, uh, you can play back all this content on on my uh, Power DVD Metro. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the the photo module. So. For photos, uh, since this kind of devices uh, has uh, usually they embedded the, the camera uh, on the device like at the back or at the front, uh, people tend to take a lot of photos, and uh, that the content gets uh, the collection will get grow over time. Uh, and we, we we came up with a very intuitive way for users to um, quickly find their content. So what we have done is that we aggregate all their user photos according, according to uh, the time uh, time domain. So uh, user can quickly find, for example, their uh, kids' birthday photos on the calendars. So for example, this one is showing uh, February 2011, and uh, this is uh, the, the, the photos taken on that particular date. Uh, let's quickly go into the second video, second application that I want to talk about, which is UCAM Metro. Okay, UCAM Metro, maybe I can use Sofian as my uh, my model, so we can see. Yeah, he's in the camera view. Uh, so very quickly, I'll show you uh, that the uh, UCAM Metro is you can use, you can apply a lot of effects uh, in real time. So for example, I wanted to put some frames around Sofian. Yeah, since she is, he is looking very beautiful right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, and then we can uh, dynamically enhance the lighting of the video using one touch of the button. Uh, and uh, there are some more fun features. So if I wanted to uh, uh, write some text on on the on the video, I can do that. So this is I'm writing Sophia's name. So you can see that all this happened in real time. And uh, for users who wanted to capture videos um, alongside with those, those animated uh, effects, they can actually do that. So this is a photo I've taken pre previously of myself. Uh, sometimes you want to do some very simple uh, editing on 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 the on the touch uh, interface. So I can actually do that. So for example, I, if I wanted to do a photo cropping. I can do that very quickly. So this is I want to crop my face and save it. Or sometimes if you take the um, photo with a tilted angle, you can quickly fix that uh, by by using a quick rotation fix function embedded uh, built into the UCAM Metro. And then uh, one last feature I want to show about uh, UCAM Metro is the uh, we actually have a face recognition technology in in UCAM Metro. So for example, uh, I show you this photo right here. So we, we can actually detect the user's face. So you can see that uh, the face of, the, of my face is actually detected by the program and is uh, putting a, a square around my face. And I can type in my name uh, next to the, to the face. So by doing these associations uh, between the name and the picture, 
Uh, next time, if you want to look up photos for a particular person, you can just do a very quick text search uh, to, to find all the photos you're looking for. Or even better, uh, you can do combination search. So for, for example, if I wanted to find a photo of me, Tony, and Sofian, I just need to type both names in and you'll grab every photo that has, has both uh, Sofian and myself in the, inside the picture. <coughs> Alright, so for the last application, this is uh, Power Director Metro. So uh, for this application, we wanted to provide the user a very quick, very intuitive way to produce very stylish, very cool looking videos. Um, so I, sh I just quickly go through how, how you can do that in, very, in the five simple steps. So you can see that there are five steps involved to creating the, the, the video. So first, I'll select uh, three videos from the collection I have, and then uh, I can do some very quick trimming. So, so all these uh, uh, videos are uh, very high quality 1080p videos, and as you can see, I'm moving the, the trimming index. Uh, all these video frames are showing up in real time, very, very responsive, very instantly. And then if that's the, the length I want, I can save, and I'll quickly do the next one. Okay. And then let's go to the next step. So this is like this is like the storyboard. You can rearrange the videos in any way, in any order you want, and then go to the next step. And here, uh, this is the magic style templates that we provided to the user. So user can uh, select one one of the template and apply it to the videos uh, been selected before. So let's see if I'm select this template, what will happen next? Okay, so. Uh, the template will be applied here as the opening section and then it comes in with the first video and then when the first video finishes, playback is at the transition in between and goes to the next video. Uh, other, and uh, for other features, you can add text for the opening and ending section or want to change the background music to your preference, that's also doable. Okay. And lastly, um, this is where you actually produce the video. So if you like what you're seeing with the preview, uh, then you can produce the video in a full high depth resolution and, or any other resolution we provided here as options. Or if you want to share this video immediately to your friends on Facebook or YouTube, uh, we also provide the social network integration inside the application for you to do that. And lastly, this is an interesting point that uh, we, we actually allow you to save the entire editing as a project. So the concept of Power uh, Director Metro is that they, we let users to do quick intuitive editing uh, on the go on a touch surface but uh, if user are uh, the intention is that if they want to do further advanced editing, they can package the whole uh, the project as a, the whole video editing as a project, and uh, we'll let them do further advanced editing on the PowerDirector desktop version. So basically, Windows 8 is not available yet for the for the consumers, but as I can see, the the application are pretty done yet, right? Yes. So we've been working with Microsoft. Uh, for a long time, so we've been engaging Microsoft since last year when Microsoft first debut uh, release uh, the information about Windows 8. Uh, and then uh, the progress on our development has been very good so far. Uh, you can, as you can see on the video, the the, the application itself is matured uh, and it's packed with a lot of features, and we put in a lot of thoughts, uh, in, especially in the in the, the touch experience. So um, yes, and it will be ready when when Microsoft Windows 8 uh, hit the shelf around end of uh, end of this quarter on uh, early uh, quarter four. Uh, those applications will definitely be available on Microsoft Windows App Store. Thank you very much, Tony. We can't wait to try it on. So, this was the introduction to Windows 8 technologies and especially Cyberlink application. So, stay tuned because we're coming back soon with other videos about famous Cyberlink products, Power DVD, Power Director, and Photo Director. Thank you very much.